Hi everyone. Today we're going to be wiring in PMP and NPN sensors into the PLC at the same common using an interposing relay. Now what you'll see is that up here we have our specifications for our G3R uh, solid state relay that we use for interposing relay. We have our SIC PNP uh, sensor and we have our, and that's the wiring diagram for the sensor. And we have our Omron E2E um, sensor. That's our NPN that we will be wiring in. And what we'll do is take a look at our PLC right here. And here's my uh, six sensor. And it's wired into my uh, first uh, input zero. And if we look at the wiring diagram, here it is here. So my load between, uh, is between my black and my blue. So my blue wire here, which is my zero volts, is actually connected to my common. And then my switching is my black wire, which is going into zero. And so that means my plus voltage is my brown wire up top here comes down to my power supply which is being powered by this uh, 24 volt on the PLC it's rated at 300 milliamps so that's the wiring of my input for my PMP so if I turn that on you can actually see that input current turning on then what we're going to do is take a look at our um, NPN and our NPN our load actually appears between our black and blue wire so you notice in this case here, my blue wire uh, sitting at plus uh, uh, the brown wire sitting at negative, and then my blue wire, so my black and blue. So it's just the opposite of what my PMP is. So because of that, what we'll do is we'll take our load, and the load will be done via the um, the coil of our interposing relay here. So what you'll see here now is there's my uh, Omron NPN and it's wired into the coil of this relay. So I have my black wire and my brown wire is where the load appears and my blue wire here is then connected um, together. So that energizes this coil. Now when the coil gets energized what I'm doing is taking my brown wire, because remember my blues are seen in common, and I'm switching it to my black wire, and then it goes up and through, and then back over to my input number one. So basically when this proxy turns on, the relay will energize the coil, and then it sends a signal to the input of the PLC. So let's just give that a try, and sure enough, that's exactly what happens. So that is an interposing relay, and that's how you can wire up PMP and MPN on the same common of the PLC. Now, if you like this video and like to see more, there are three ways in which you can help us out. Um, you can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information just as you have. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at the end of the video. You can also go to accautomation.ca and subscribe to our website. When you do, you'll get notification every time we update uh, new content to the site. You'll also get free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to do to help us out is tell a friend. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.